I've been on user testing for four months now and made $320. But in order to get to that stage, you have to pass the sample test in order to get approved. In this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of my best tips to try and pass the test first time and start making money today. So let's jump straight into it. My first tip is to relax. It's not a test. Well, it is a test. You'll see what I mean in a minute. When you're doing this sample test or any of the other tests that you end up doing on user testing, it is not an assessment of your ability to navigate websites. The purpose of the test is to evaluate a company's website or a company's app and see how well designed it is and how easy it is for you to navigate it. So if you are unable to complete a task or you've been asked to locate something and you can't find it for the life of you, then don't panic. You failing their task indicates a problem with their user interface and their website design, not your ability. So just remain as cool as a cucumber and move on to the next task. My second tip is to speak your mind and explain your thought process as you do everything. This is the main thing they're looking for. They want to get inside the head of their consumers or people that are going to use their website. And the best way that you can help the company you're testing for out is by speaking through your mind, speaking through your thought process as you do every little thing. As I mentioned in the first tip, it doesn't matter if you're unable to complete one of their tasks or you can't find something, as long as you speak through your thought process, it's gonna be very useful to them. So if it's not where you thought it was, speak through your thought process, say where you might have thought you would have found this web page. I'm going to give you an example here. So I've signed up to user testing again with a different email so I can go through some of the practice tests for you to give you an idea of what you should be doing. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's go through some of the tests. So I'm here now on the user testing website about to start the practice test. So to get started, all you need to go is to click and set permissions. Uh, close any tabs that you had open. Click on entire screen to just as tells them what you're sharing. So I'm clicking that. Next. And then it does a microphone check to make sure that your external mic is working or you can choose the internal mic. Both works. So we click next. It's telling you that you're gonna keep two tabs open. So you have one, the user testing tab, this tab here. And then one is the, the company's website that you're gonna be testing. So we go next. We we're ready to go, so we're gonna click start test. It gives us our scenario, and we're gonna talk about that in the next step. But our scenario here is that we're planning a trip to the Air and Space Museum. Fun, fun. Uh, so it's just telling us what I've told you already, talk through your mind, so that's exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So next, it's now opened up the other tab for us, okay? So if we pop back to this tab over here, it's then gonna give us our first task. So our first task is to find the floor plan for the Udvar Hazy Center. So say what you think as we do it, okay? So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna talk through what I'm thinking, okay? So I'm on this homepage here. So I'm looking for this Udvar Hazy Center, okay? So visit is something we're visiting. Exhibitions, okay, there it is here. So we find the name. So that's obviously, that's where I'm gonna click next as I think that it's a pretty sensical link. So now we're on the page about this Udvar Hazy Center where we're supposed to be visiting. So we're gonna look for the floor plan now, which is a strange thing to look for, but... So, I look down the sidebar here, and what do you know? There's the floor plans and guides. So obviously I'm gonna click there, and that's gonna take me to here, and if I scroll down a little bit, I've found the floor plan. So that was pretty easy, I think it was very logical, and it made sense where it was located. So there, I just spoke through where, where, where my mind was taking me, where I would logically look for to find the task that they've set, and then I've just spoken my way through the process. Really easy. Now for the next task, they're asking on what holiday is the Udvar Hazy Center closed? So I'm gonna do the same thing, just speak through my mind and what my thought process would be. So from here, uh, to do with planning a trip on finding out what holidays it's closed, I think it would be linked with if I'm planning a field trip. That makes sense to me. If I was trying to plan a trip, you should probably tell me when it's closed. So if I look here, um, we don't see anything here. I can't see, there's no, when is it open? It doesn't tell me about any holidays that it's closed here. So where would I look next? If I have a look down here, demonstrations, tours, Lars. None of that really makes sense to me um, where it would tell that. So visiting tips, perhaps, it might tell us for the 20th of July. I'm still not appearing to see anything about holidays and when it's closed. 
As I mentioned, it would have made the most sense to be in the planner field trip for me personally. Um, if I scroll down here, still nothing. Things to know before you go, possibly. Uh, wheelchairs, take ramps, ask for help. So nothing there that makes sense to me. So that's kind of where I would logically look, those two places, and I wasn't able to find anything. For this example here, I wasn't actually able to complete the task. I didn't know where to go to find out where I could see if it was closed on what holidays. So despite not being able to complete the task, I remained calm and I just kept explaining my thought process and where I thought things should be. So in the practice test that you've just seen, they ask you to be pretend you're in a scenario. And quite a lot of the other tests that you'll do on the website do that. So one I've had before, for example, is pretend you're going on holiday. Which of these hotels would you look to book at? And what would you look for when booking a hotel? So they're asking you to pretend you're in a given scenario. The better you can pretend to place yourself in that scenario, the better your test is going to come across, the more useful it's going to be to the company. And overall, it's a win-win for everybody. So now you should have at least some idea of what you can do to make sure that the practice test you do for usertesting.com is a really good one. Once you do complete the test, it can take a week or two to get approved, but hang in there. You'll be earning money in no time. All you really need to do is not panic, speak your mind, and remember to place yourself in the scenario they give you. If you want more details about how user testing works, then watch this video I made in the past.